if your teacher is asking you to solve a quadratic equation by opposite operations. I'm going to show you how to do it. The idea is we're trying to get x alone on one side of the equation. You're going to have to get at it by undoing things that are currently being done to it. Now, they call it opposite operations because you're used to bedmus or pedmus, brackets or parentheses, exponents, division, multiplication, addition, and subtraction. But opposite operations are when you do the opposite of bed mass because you're eating your way into an equation instead of being given a value of x and solving forward. So it's in reverse. We've got to undo subtraction and addition first. How do you undo adding 72? Well, the answer is by subtracting 72 from both sides. Some teachers will have you write minus 72 for both. 0 minus 72 is negative 72 over here. All of this stays the same until you get here. Plus 72 and minus 72 undo each other. So the effect is that plus 72 on the right has become minus 72 on the left. Great. Let's undo multiplication or division. There's only one of those here. It's this, negative 2 times this jazz. How do you undo multiplying by negative 2? Well, the answer to that is by dividing. The opposite of multiplication is division, so divide both sides by negative 2. These negative 2s cancel each other out, so you're left with x minus 5 squared on the right, and this, which is positive 36 on the left. Nice. Note, we're eating our way in to the x one step at a time. All right, now we need to undo the square or the exponents. Do you know how to do that? Well, the opposite of square is square rooting. So you've got to square root this side as well. Here's where the new stuff comes in for you. It used to be that when you take the square root of a number, and calculators will tell you this, the square root of the square root of 36, it will say is 6. But negative 6 times itself is also positive 36. Your job, as whatever grade you're in, is to know that when you square root something, you can get both a positive and negative version of the answer. The square root and square here cancel each other out. You're left with x minus 5. But x minus 5 can equal both positive square root of 36 or negative square root of 36. The way we write that is positive root 36 is positive 6. That equals x minus 5. Or you could also have gotten negative 6. That could also equal x minus 5. There are two possible solutions, and the word or tells you that x can be either of these to satisfy that equation. Lastly, we're going to undo the minusing of 5. Now, I know subtraction came first, but this was inside brackets. That's why it got left till the end. You undo minusing 5 by plussing 5 on the other side. I got x to be either positive 11 or, plus 5, negative 1. Now, if you're wondering how it's possible to get two possible solutions, well, this is clearly a parabola. Surely you've learned that x squared is a parabola. And the vertex of this is at positive 5, comma, positive 72, which is somewhere way up here. This parabola also opens down. You know that because a is negative, and that means it comes down like this. So the question we are being asked here is, where is the height of that parabola zero? Where are the x-intercepts? And there's one about here at negative one, and there's another one here at 11. Parabolas are probably the first shape you've seen that have two x-intercepts, and that's why this plus minus square root thing is like the thing to know when you're asked to solve by opposite operations. Welcome home, and thanks for being with me. Best of luck.